All right, before we get started, I got to read a disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. With that out of the way, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the Rapsudi Shima theme on the Nintendo Wii or the Wii U. This is going to be based on Wii Flow Lite themes. So I've created a folder with all the files that you're going to need. So just head over to my page. Scroll down until you see the wallpaper to this video. Go up to the download link. This is going to be a zip file. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Uh, now for all the files included. So apps folder, it's going to have Nintendo, Wii Flow, and Wii Mod Lite. It's going to have a controllers folder, a games folder. So this is where you put your GameCube games. I have left a text document on the structure of the games. Saves, WADs folder. Now this is going to have both the VWI WAD and the Wii WAD. So I've converted the Wii Flow WAD to the VWI. So if you're installing it on the Wii, you go to the Wii WAD folder. Here's the WAD. If you're installing it on the VWI, you go to the VWI WAD folder. And there's the WAD. There's going to be a WBFS folder. This is where you put your Wii games. Um, I've left a text document with the proper structure of the games. Then it's going to have Wii Flow. Uh, it's going to come with all these folders. So the uh, box art is going to go in the box covers. They got to be the full, uh, full cover in in uh, .png file format. And then scroll down. Themes light. Uh, this is where you put your themes. So you go under cover flows. It's going to have the default theme of Wii Flow Lite. And then the Rapsudi Shima theme. So that is basically the setup for the SD card. Um, now we're going to get on the Wii. We are going to install the Wii Flow channel using Wii Ma Lite. And um, I will show you how to configure the Wii Flow theme. All right, guys, now over on the Wii. So, first thing we're going to do is install the Wii Flow channel using Wii Ma Lite. So, start it up. Uh, go down to the WAD manager, press A, press A on the WSD slot, go down to your WADs folder. Now I created two folders, so this one's for the VWI, this one's for the Wii, so today we're going to be installing it on the Wii. So press A on the Wii WAD, and here's the uh, Wii Flow WAD, so press A, press A to install, shouldn't take too long. Press any key to continue, press B, and then press home. Takes you back to the uh, homebrew channel, and then to the main menu. So here is the Wii Flow theme. This is a Super Mario Galaxy theme. I think it's really cool. So let's start it up. Start. Now, when you first load this up, it's going to take you to the regular Wii Flow Lite. I'm going to show you how to change the themes. So here's the uh, regular Wii Flow. So to change themes, go over to Settings, uh, Page 2. There it is, the Rapsudi Shima. 
and then go back. This is going to uh, restart Reflow. And now you should have the Rapsudi Shima theme. So there you go. Um, if your games don't load up at, at first, just press the home button and then reload cache. Every time you add new games, you got to do the same thing. So this is all the GameCube games. Now go to this icon. Uh, this is going to be your uh, NAND games. Retro uh, game systems. Go back. Go back. And now this is the Wii games. Uh, if you press B on the Wii controller, it's going to take you to this menu. Um, you're going to have to set up the uh, plugins, and you got to have the apps and the right covers for this to work. Um, the only thing that's set up right now is for the Wii and GameCube games. So you just press that. It takes you to this menu, and you can load... The GameCube games from here, and then press B, takes you back, and you can load the Wii games from here. Uh, now to get all this uh, going properly, go into the settings. I'm going to go page by page. So if you want to download your covers, um, mine are done manually. I just add them to the box covers uh, folder. But if you want to download them, uh, just go to go. Uh, game partitions. Um, I'm loading everything from the SD card, but you can also have the external drive. Uh, so the, the Wii partition SD, GameCube partition SD, and then plugins default partition SD if you have them. Uh, page two, there's the theme Wii Flow language English, adjust cover flow. This is okay. That's okay. Default video mode, NTSC, default game language, English, GameCube default settings, press set. Uh, so video mode, game, game language, English, game loader is Nintendo, page two. Uh, make sure your memory card EMU is enabled so you can save the game. Go back, page four, exit to homebrew channel. And then return to channel, WeFlow. Uh, this way, when you exit a game, it takes you back to WeFlow instead of the main menu. So 5 is all okay. 6 is okay. 7 is okay. 8 is okay. 9. Everything in 9 is okay. Page 10. Everything is okay. This is okay. Uh... Source flow settings set. Uh, make sure you have these correctly. So if you want to pause the video, so enable source flow on, source flow small box on, box mode off, and adjust cover flow. You don't need to do anything with this. Go back. 13. Uh, make sure you have the covers box mode on. And use H covers no and then lock cover flow layouts yes uh, 14 everything is fine unless you want to change the video width I just leave it on auto now when you go back so reload cache again and then every everything should be working properly um, I might have a future video on how to set up the uh, retro stuff for the for the retro consoles, but for now, um, this pretty much is going to run your Wii and GameCube games. So I will leave all the links you're going to need in the uh, pin comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.